Welcome to another Summit Cast. Earlier in the week, I shared a message about Bible reading to provide help to new believers. We should always remember about new babies that are being born into the kingdom. When you're born again, you need help to understand how to walk with God. And just like a baby is born in the natural and they need assistance, they need help. So it's the same in the spiritual. So I wanted to continue where I left off last time, dealing with Bible reading. And just to recap some of the things that I've talked about, as a new believer, I think the devil tries to get new Christians confused, get them reading Revelation and books in the Old Testament. And without really a, a foundation, it will be very difficult to understand those books. They're even difficult for mature believers to understand. So I re recommend a Bible reading plan that first, as a new Christian, focuses on the New Covenant or the epistles, which are the letters written to the church. As I said before, it's fine to read the entire Bible, but I believe the majority of your Bible reading should be in the New Testament, in the beginning at least, okay? And really, throughout our Christian life, I believe that our, the, the majority of our Bible reading should be as believers, whether you're a new Christian or an old Christian. I believe the uh, majority of our Bible reading should be in the New Testament, and that's just my opinion. Because, see, those are the letters that are written to us. The whole Bible is written for us, but the New Covenant is written to us. The epistles, which are Romans, all the way through to the end of Jude. So, and I'm reading from my book, The Bronze Level or Basic Training. On page 13, the New Covenant begins with four books that are called the Gospels. These contain the works of and teachings of Jesus and the book of Acts which are the acts of the Holy Spirit through the body of Christ the new covenant or New Testament ends with the book of Revelation which primarily deals with the end times between the Gospels and the book of Revelation are the epistles they begin with Romans and end with Jude if you request a copy of my Bible reading plan for reading through the epistles, I'll be happy to send one to you free. You can, if, if you are subscribed to the city at Summit Church, that is available to you on the city. Or you can go to our website, summitindy.tv or summitftwayne.tv or summitministriesinternational.com. They all all take you to the same place and you can go in the reading area I don't recall the name of the button right off the bat but um, there is uh, let me see if I can find it for you real quick but if you go to our website you will be able to access the reading through the epistles plan which will guide you or give you a plan to read through the epistles once a month and we actually if you want to do it split it up and do a little less reading that's okay you can do it in two months where you read through the epistles every two months so if you go to our website go to the media area um, then you can um, come on all right here we go Yes, in the media section up in the up, upper top bar of the website, then it'll bring you to a section where there'll be a print button. And if you click that, then you'll find some free resources there. And uh, one of them is a Bible reading plan. So check that out. It's free of charge. And um, it will, again, enable you to read through the epistles once a month. Okay, those are the letters that are written to the church and they are the heart 
of God's covenant that we live under today, why they're so important for us to grasp and understand is because they contain our rights, our privileges, and our responsibilities as Christians, okay? So, consider following the plan, this new reading through the epistles plan, daily Bible reading, okay? And with this plan, you also have the flexibility to read passages out of the Old Testament at, at your discretion as you have time. But I highly recommend as a new Christian, don't start in Revelation, don't start with the Old Testament or Genesis. I recommend starting with a reading through the epistles plan. Actually, more specifically, I would recommend actually start with the book of John. Read the Gospel of John, then go to the epistle of First John. If you were a new Christian and you said to me, Pastor, what should I do first? Read the Gospel of John. When you finish with that, read it at your own pace. After you, you finish with that, read the Epistle of John, the Epistle of 1 John specifically. After that, then go to my Reading Through the Epistles plan. And for one year, read through the Epistles. If you want to go to the Old Testament after that, that's fine. Because Old Testament should be read, in my opinion, in the light of New Covenant Revelation. Okay? Well, that's all for today. We'll check you next time. Hopefully that helps you if you're a new believer.